Holy Bible, yeah, the Holy Bible. New Testament or the Old Testament? Both, both inside of it. Old and New Testament. It's one book. We can't uh, try to divide the book. That don't work yeah, on it. Yeah, it's not one. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 23. Hey, all of y'all can't talk because we're not going to get anything. No, but you're saying stuff that is the truth. Did God not say that read your heart? Did not say that before. Did not say write the laws. Did not say write the laws upon the tablets of your heart. That's the setup, brother. Write the law upon the tablets of your heart. Is it in your heart? He did not say that they were following the law. Which law? 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 Which I can't have a conversation. 
issue with people who don't seem to really know. What, what do you believe? You're, you're, making a, you, you, you're making a comment, right? Oh. You're saying the Bible is one. The Bible are a series of writings over time that at some point, Someone established an hold oh, 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 Someone, speaking, someone established an acceptable creed to say what can make it into the book and what can't be in the book. So there had to be a time because prior to this, two thousand years ago, there was no. The only thing that existed was the Israeli writings, right? The Jewish writings. Okay, fine, the New fair. Testament. They picked the books, even in the old one, right? If you go back to like the city of Uber and you talk real history about when these books were put together, there were no huge collection of books. Okay, in this fair enough, fair enough. So, so let me say okay, a statement that is one book denies the actual history of how the book comes together. You can't have a real conversation right, look, look. with somebody who believes this is look, one book. Look, 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 I mean, listen. That doesn't make oh, sense. Right, listen. What's your name? What's your name? I tell you my name. Oh, Kobe, right? Kobe, yeah. right? Uh, what's your What's your name? You all together? No, 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 okay, no, no, no. now watch this. I'm just looking at the... Watch. Um, the now check this out. Give me... Set them Isaiah 50 and verse... 55? 50 verse 18. Now, we will leave in the Bible. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We will leave in the Bible. Now, let me speak. No, no, and that's fine. I think that's fine. That's okay. I'm totally fine with this. We will leave in the Bible. I get that. So, when we speak, guess what we're going to use as our reference? The Bible. So you gotta respect that for us, right? I know, I do. Show us some respect for that, right? Now watch I this, now watch this. That's it, I respect Our mission, our mission, our mission as Israel United in Christ is to fix the issues that we see in the community, right? That's great. One of the issues that we see with a lot of our people today is drug use. I, Another issue is I'm broken homes. Another issue is teenage pregnancies, right? That's now right. check this out, you got the verse? No, Set them in order. Uh, Isaiah 50. Check so now, now, we can, so now we can have a conversation. Sounds, 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 sounds 50 If you're 21. faith based, I get that. Your faith doesn't right, have well, to be. Right, but we use the Bible. Real. But we use the Bible. But we use the Bible to fix certain issues. Because right. the Bible addresses I, these I, I, issues, I, I, right? No, no, and I respect that. We can now have right, a conversation. Right, right. Now, now, check this out. Like, we're going to have a conversation. Psalms chapter 50 and verse 21. Bring it over. These things has thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was all together such as one as thyself. So when you read this, it's talking about the enemies of the children of Israel. Our enemies took God's word, they put us in slavery, and they felt as though God was on their side, right? Bring on. Yeah. But I will reprove thee, and set them in order before thine eyes. The Bible lets us know that God would set his people, which are the Israelites, which are today, the blacks and Amerindians, right? God would set us, we can prove it to you, but let's set something else, let's set something else. The Bible says God would set us in order. God would set the Israelites in order, meaning there's a lot of things that goes on within our community that's out of order, and we gotta fix it. For example, for example, how do we stop the drug use? What should be taught to these young boys and these young girls to stop doing drugs? We can't stop it. We could stop it. Prophecy of no, 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 we no, could no, stop it. So you believe in the Bible? You can't. But listen, that's what that's what these drug use, right? Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I mean, let me speak. Well, I agree I with you. I want to agree with you and tell you faith. Drug use. Drug use is a problem. Drug use is an issue. Drug use Single parent homes is an issue. Teenage pregnancy is an issue. I agree. Now I'm gonna show you something in the Bible. No, I understand. I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you something in the Bible that if we teach it to our people. We can put them in order. We can set the black man in order. You we can set the black woman in order. No, we can set the nation in order. Check us out. Check us out. Wow, listen, 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 right? Stop, stop. You can do that with a lot of people. Listen, 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 the cycle of the broken homes. A lot of these young boys grow up with behavior issues. They look, they try to they try to find out who is the daddy growing up all their lives. Then you know what? They might have hatred towards the black man. That's why Dude, marriage I'm a must be honored. Like, and the parents kids. and the parents need to sit down with the kids, because you know black people don't do that stuff. Black people do not sit down and have family discussion. So that's one thing that we gotta apply as a people. Marriage. Read on. And the beds undefiled, but whoremonger. A whoremonger, what's a whoremonger? Kofi, what's a whoremonger? Uh, I'm here to drug, I'm here to drug. I'm here to drug. A whoremonger is someone that don't want to get married, but they sleep with multiple women. That's a whoremonger, right, Green? And adulterers, we know what an adulterer is.
someone that sleeps outside of marriage, right? Read. God will judge. God will judge. Anyone that don't want to have a marriage, God brings judgment. Now listen, if you don't believe in God, that's something else. I never that's said that. That's something else. Now check this out. I never said that. What? I never what? said that. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just using, I'm just using no, it as an example. Don't throw that at me. No. Because you said you don't believe in the Bible, right? No, I never said that either. So what do you believe in? I told you. If you, it is the basis. If, if you believe scripture uh -huh. right you have to understand its context right? okay so for example a story doesn't have to be true for it to have truths in it so he's telling me all this stuff is real all this stuff is true it's his story and i'm saying what you're saying right now by i could take a story and say hey these people were were, were um, put in slavery uh -huh. and here here's a story over here where people were put in slavery and all this stuff happened to them. and i can apply that story to my own life and i could find meaning out of it, right? So I could say, hey, as a matter of faith, this is my belief. It don't have to be true. I could read the story of Goldilocks and find meaning in it. It doesn't have to be true to have truths in it. So I'm saying the scripture is filled with truths that you can use, we can use to make our communities and our life better. Right. You understand? Right, and that's what we're doing. And, and, and I'm fine right. with that. And that's but you have doing. to realize that some of that is a history like my brother's trying to tell me over here. The history that is a different real subject. history. The history and it's historic. Well, listen, and these people the are history, real. The history of the Bible and the history of how we can prove who the Israelites are, that's a different topic. That's now, a different now, a lot of people different. might say, you know what? That's they might, they might believe in what you believe in, which, no, is, which no. is perfectly fine. You can no, believe in what you want to believe in. But what we focus mainly upon is the issues that we face. And marriage is one of them. And the parents I'm, must sit I'm down with their children and say, listen, you have to honor marriage. Because you, you have daughters, you have I children. Do. I have a daughter. How would you feel if your daughter becomes the neighborhood slut? That, that would be a terrible feeling for a father, right? It is, of course. It is, right? So guess what the parent must do? Say, listen, daughter, don't have no boyfriend. Cover your body up and get married. We're right. And that's what we firmly believe. It must be taught. Whether, whether you believe that the history is false or not. No, whether you believe the history has many sense. different meanings or not. No, 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 it makes sense. It makes sense, both from, it makes sense both from a biblical perspective, but it also makes sense from a natural perspective, right? Make what? It, from, from a natural perspective, uh -huh. if a girl, so paternal assurance is never guaranteed. So if a girl has a baby and she doesn't know who the baby is, she always knows the baby's her. She doesn't know who the father is. Uh -huh. The father, the guy's not going to stick around to take care of, of a child that he's not sure Right, right. The first it's the so these things are built into natural laws anyway. Mm -hmm. If a woman is faithful and give a man the opportunity to trust that they can build a family together and they can commit, it's better for society. Right, right. To it's, it better, it's better it, for us, right? So, um, so the Bible captures the same concept, right. which is also a natural concept. Right, right. Now check this out. Here's, a, here's another issue that we face that this must be taught. Read it. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 13. Well, Thou shalt not kill. The Bible said we shouldn't kill. Well, and, and, and what did Mary murder? Same thing, same thing. No, and, and listen, and listen. My brother, I want you to listen. I want you to listen. But you gotta clarify. I want you to listen. The Bible says, "Do not kill." Do not commit murder. Right? Now, is killing an issue amongst black people? Yes. 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 Yes.
say someone that slipped through the crack because people can naturally become evil, right? If they're not guided, but then they might grow up at a certain age and might have experienced certain things and that might cause them to stray away. So what we're saying, my brother, is that there's issues that has to be fixed and the only way that it can be fixed is with laws because the Bible is a law book. The Bible is also known as the book of the law. You can't fix it with law. We could. We could. So how? So how, okay. The Bible says you can't fix it. The Bible says that? Where? It does. It Where does. in it? The whole, point, the, whole, the whole point of the Bible, of Jesus coming, is to say that people following the law blindly didn't work. So what has to happen is the man's heart has to change. So, so, so hold a sec. So the, okay. law, the law is for people who already are going to break the law. So the law exists for those who, and, and the scripture says it, the law exists for those who are already lawbreakers. But a righteous man doesn't need the law Kobe. because his heart is changed. Kobe. So what we need is not law. What we need is a change of heart. Kobe. So if people, ch if for example, if I'm not, if I'm not a killer, you can say thou shalt not kill. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to kill. But the law exists because there are people who want to kill. So Kobe. the law doesn't stop people from committing crimes. It exists to punish people when they commit crimes. Kobe. But a law are written you on your heart. Are you, a law written oh, on your oh, heart. Are you part of Christianity? Different. I'm, I'm not you Christianity? <laughs> Do you follow or believe in Christianity? It doesn't matter. Does it matter? Chris, uh, Kobe, what you're saying is Christianity. Right, right. We don't have but to keep law. That is why, Kobe, Kobe, no, what you're saying is Christianity. Because because you say we don't have to keep God's laws and God's laws was made for those who's going to break the law, that is the issue with society. Look, that's what religion has taught our people that, listen, you don't have to keep God's laws. And but I, we do have to keep God's laws. Give me Titus chapter 2 now. Did God not say that rent your heart? Not your God. No, he didn't. Did he not say write no, the laws? Didn't. Did he not say write the laws upon the tablets is the law, of your heart? Is the laws in your heart? Did he say write the law upon the tablets of your he heart? He said that. Is it in your heart? He did not say that they were following the law. Which law? Which law? Kobe, Kobe, is the laws in your heart? I got it wrong. Is the law in your heart, Kobe? the law written on my heart. Okay, Kobe, watch this. The law Explain of love, to me. The law of love is written on my heart. Explain to me. Now you said the law All of the law is summed up. Explain to me. All of the law is summed up in this, man. If you love your brother, you will let me speak. Explain to me the law on a Hebrew servant. On a Hebrew servant? Yes. If the law is written in your heart, explain to me the law on a Hebrew servant. No, I don't follow that kind of law, brother. But the law is on your heart, Kobe. The, the law of love. What is love? All of the what law is, love, Kobe? is summed up in this. What is love? Love your Lord like God with all your heart and love your neighbor as yourself. Man. Kobe, you what that, is love? You won't, take Kobe. His, you won't take his wife, you won't kill him. Right, right. Which is, which is what? Laws. That's right. Correct. Which is God's laws. Don't commit adultery and don't kill nobody. Yeah, that's, right. that's right. Give me that in Titus 2. Drop. I know you want to go to John, but give me that. Copy it only. Don't leave. We got we to we we show you something else. We got to show you something else. We got two more minutes. We, we got two more minutes. Titus 2. Yeah. Book of Titus, chapter 2 and verse 2. That the aged men be sober. The Bible says older men must be sober. What does it mean to be sober? Don't be drunk. Don't be on drugs, don't be abusing alcohol, right? right? Read that verse again. Titus 2, verse 2. That the aged men be sober. Do you think it's an issue with older people not following this? Yeah, a lot of people drinking this shit. A lot of people and drunk. Drunk, 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 drunk. Right, right. And they abuse drugs. You see the young boys smoking marijuana. Where, where do they get it from? Where do they it from somebody? Where? Okay. What, what was the first influence that caused them to, to go and smoke marijuana might have been the television because of what they see right because you might when you see and you look at stuff you're learning you're downloading information in your brain right subconsciously marijuana is not bad what are you talking about marijuana is not I what know a lot of educated people smoke marijuana but it's not right totally it's, it's, it's still not right that's not right Kobe. It it what what nation what of people makes marijuana wrong the bible God's law says it. God's law says that you just mentioned. You read that verse. I'm going to show you. Read that verse again. Titus 2, verse 2. That the aged men be sober. If you're high, are you sober? Uh, no. So if you're high, you're not sober. Right. If you're high, because you're trying to find a, or you're trying to find a loophole out of it. No, if you're high, Kofi, you are not sober. Right. And that's what the Bible says. So once again, how do we set? How do we fix? How do we fix drunkenness? Drug use, alcohol abuse, the money abuse amongst our community. Read up. The law and God's Bible. No, that's right, how right. we fix it. You understand that? So that's what we're trying to do. 
That's the mission that we're on. Okay. And, so, so and Kobe, here, here's my issue. and Kobe, my, my, my issue you're is... Chris, Kobe, what, what church you go to? The, the point I'm trying to make... Oh, let me hear your point the because you want to answer my question. Is that the application of the law uh -huh. has already failed you. The application you, of God's you, laws failed humanity. No, 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 exactly when? No, 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 let me explain. Exactly when? Let me explain what I mean. I mean that trying to get people to follow these laws in the way that you are taking them, how does it work? It didn't work through the children of Israel. It didn't work through history. So if you're truly interested in making a change, we have to pragmatically think about how do we make this work? Because just setting up a set of laws and telling right people to follow it didn't work. The children of Israel didn't do it. God said they didn't even do it. So what, why would you expect if you preach, follow these laws, follow these laws, people are just going to do it? When through history, we don't have a record of following these laws. Look Kobe, at we do have a history. During the time of the kings, laws? yes. During the time of the kings, you had King David, you had King Solomon, you had King Hezekiah, King Josiah, who taught God's laws, and we followed it. There is a time period in history where we did follow God's laws. And Kobe, how much laws? Kobe. Very small history. Now you're saying there's a small history. No, Kobe, I'm saying... How much laws is in how much laws is the government of Guyana? How much laws I can't even speak? How much laws is set up in this country? No. How much laws would you say? We have a lot of laws. A lot. Laws. Might be it might be more than the Bible. But guess what? Where does the where does these governments get their laws from? Where did it come from? So of course it came from the Bible. Nowhere? We live in the West, so it came from the Bible. There's a history why. So we can't before, follow God's laws. Before, before that, it wasn't. So we can't. So we can't follow God's laws. That's good. It's, that's what you're saying. We have that's to keep God's laws. That's our only solution. Now read no, this. No, I'm saying the problem. The book of Zach Zechariah, chapter four and verse sixteen. Oh, wow. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto the Rubabel, saying, Not by might. Nor by power, but by the Spirit, saith the Lord of both. By God's Spirit. Where is God's Spirit from? Is it found in the church? No. It's found in the church. Let us know that billions of people will keep God's laws and they will repent. Right. So how can you say we can't keep God's laws? Now, how do you stand before the throne and receive the palms in your hand? Let's find out. Read it. The book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 16. And behold, when came and say unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? So how can you stand before the throne and stand before the Lamb? Let's find out. Go ahead. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Keep God's laws. So we have to apply the laws found in the Bible. Right. The laws is not written in your heart yet. Because if the law was written in your heart, you would do it. You would apply it. You would know how to explain it. So what is the teachings of us, the Israelites? We have to keep God's laws. Laws bring order. Right. When you don't have laws, there's chaos, there's robbing, there's killing, there's stealing, there's the drug use, there's the rape cases. Right. Feminism. There's the feminism that plagues society. And how do you eliminate all of that? The Bible, God's laws, and that is what we teach. That's how we bring change to our people. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is you.